Welcome yeah. to the uh, Royal Oak High School Men's Tennis Senior Night. Yes. yes. We had a good season. Like Coach Friesen said, we finished 12, 3 and 1. I think our seniors did a great job overall. They've done a lot to contribute to the program over the past couple years. This is our opportunity to honor them. That's very true. All right, the first senior of the night is Matthew Boss. All right. Matthew has Matthew has gone through all four years of high school with a 3.98 GPA. He has spent th uh, three years on the varsity team. No, I'm sorry, three years on playing tennis, one on JV, and two years on the varsity team. When asked, um, what is your plan after high school? He says to go to, a, to, go to college in-state and study mechanical engineering. Hey, hey. Very fancy. Um, his tennis awards are scholar athlete um, for both years on varsity, one and three doubles league champions from this year and last year. Uh, he has the record for most games played, which is 22 games in one season, and the most wins in one season, which is 18 wins. For doubles. For doubles. For doubles. Congratulations, Matthew. And then what advice would he give to the underclassmen on the team? He wants to make the most of each season because it goes by quick and is always fun and enjoyable to spend time and bond as a team. Also, listen to Coach and his advice. That's, I mean, that's pretty good advice. So, no. And what, when asked, what will you miss most about the tennis team? He said, to be able to talk with everyone and just having fun while smacking some tennis balls with the guys. And then, of course, beating Avondale in the finals. Yeah. All right, congratulations, Matt. Who's uh, next? Mr. Nylander. All right, next up we have Elliot Nylander. Yeah. Yes, sir. He currently has a 3.7 GPA. He spent four years on the ROHS tennis team. I think two with varsity, yeah. correct? He, some of his awards are scholar athlete, third place in the OAA league, three doubles. That was this year. Great yes, job, Elliot. You wrote, th oh wait, you wrote three doubles. <laughs> third place, two doubles. There we go. Yeah. Third place, two All right, doubles. Then. Elliot's plan after high school is to obtain a professional degree in architecture at Virginia Polytechnic University. Very specific. Very, yeah. <laughs> what advice would you give to the underclassmen of the team? Play winter tennis with fellow teammates. It'll build skill and team chemistry. <laughs> Coach will also appreciate it very much. <laughs> what will you miss most about the RHS tennis team? The brotherhood. That's a solid answer, one. yeah. One more round of applause for Elliot. All right, next up is my partner Connor Orlando. Connor has a GPA of 4.0. He's been on the tennis team for four years, I believe, what, two on varsity? Two on varsity. Connor has received the scholar athlete for all his years on tennis and he took second place in three doubles at this year's league championship. All right. Connor's plan after high school is to attend a four-year college on the pre-medical track. So I'm assuming becoming a doctor in the end game. That's awesome. Um, what advice you would give to the underclassmen of the team? He says, participate in all the team events, including dressing up at school. The team is a brotherhood unlike any other team I've been on in high school. Very, very strong words. And what will you miss most about the ROHS tennis team? Having these great team bonding events all the time, Coney after matches, Wendy's at leagues, Speedway after a good match win, and all of our team traditions. All right, give it up for Connor. I'll do the next two, because I think it's Chase and you. Yeah. All right, next up, we have Chase Druillard. Let's give him a round of applause. He's gone for his own flower. Chase has a 3.4 GPA. He's had three years on the ROHS tennis team. He's not received any awards, but that's okay. <laughs> He's done a great job. <laughs> his plan after high school is to go to community college. And what advice you would give to the underclassmen of the team? Actually do your homework. <laughs> it's a good piece of advice. Let's start. What will you miss most about the ROHS tennis team? Playing tennis. Wise words from Chase. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Right. Next up, we have our fellow captain, Luca Chikachi. Give him a round of applause. Currently has a 3.82 GPA. Spent four years on the RHS tennis team. Three years on varsity. <laughs> Thank you, coach. He's received scholar athlete all four years. He received the third doubles, second place league title this year. Yes. What's his plan after high school? Attending a four year college to study psychology. What advice would you give to the other classmen of the team? Make the most of all four years and go to all the team events. High school flies by. What sure. you miss most about RHS tennis? The team events, like our Wendy Circle or the tennis sleepover, but most importantly, being with the team. One more round of applause for Luca. Nice. All right. Now last, I'm going to stand on the side, but most certainly not least, is my other captain here, Thomas Romito. Thomas has a 4.28 GPA. It's ridiculous, but whatever. Number of years on the varsity tennis team is all four years of high school spent on the varsity tennis team. And, and the awards he has received is scholar athlete for all four years, three doubles league champion, and one doubles league champion, which happened this year. What is your plan after high school? His plan is to, um, your dream schools are U of M and Notre Dame. Great choices, either way. What advice Thomas would give to the underclassmen of the team? Don't take a single second you won't spend playing with the team for granted. Before you know it, you are going to be a senior and you will realize how much you're going to miss it. Very wise words. And what will you miss most about the ROHS tennis team? Um, although it's a different roster every year, the tennis team always connects and it always manages to be one of the most important communities in my life. That was very true. All right, let's give it up for Thomas and the rest of our seniors here today. Everyone gets one more flower. Yes. All right. All right. We're gonna get some pictures. Let's get some pictures. All right. Now we'll get some pictures. Thank you everybody for coming, and we can do some pictures, and so people can leave if they need to. But again. Um, <laughs> Um, it's a good opportunity here for everybody to come and see us and, and, and take this time to honor them. And uh, we're going to get some information out for us about our awards coming up, our awards banquet. And um, this has been something new for the last couple years and it's, uh, I think it's a good thing and we should keep it going. So well done seniors from here and uh, again, everybody give them another hand. Here. Thank you all for coming.